Hey yo, and welcome back to our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. Today in episode 18, we explore the monastery a whole bunch, and we go a little bit overboard on the recruiting, so find out who joins us. Alrighty, starting off the episode, we are going to get into some support conversations. We got Caspar and Edelgard. Training again. You're certainly working hard, Caspar. Get ignored. Oh, Edelgard. You scared me. You should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Burglies, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens, but the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight? Wow. Wasn't expecting hey, it to go this on. way. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. <laughs> what was that about? I'll never understand her. <laughs> <laughs> that was only level C. Now oh, we got Linehart and Petra. B level, let's go. Linehart, I have been waiting for much time. Please, watch me. Watch what, Petra? Whoa! Take careful with that spear! How did you find that? I did more training. Ah, you took my advice then. I will say, the problematic maneuver seems improved at least. At least? It is still no good? The spear isn't really my area of expertise, but I've seen enough training to understand the mechanics. I believe I can use that understanding to further help you improve your spear work. My spear <laughs> work? Right. As I said, when you lift up and stab down, the momentum is ruined. You're trying to swing like a giant. You're not a giant, so that's a problem. So allow the spear's own momentum to do more of the hard work for you. Spear momentum. The spear is heavy. When you lift it up high, loosen your grip a little. At the top of my swing, loosen my grip, and then the weight will carry it down? Precisely. When you put too much power into it, not only do you exhaust your grip, you tire yourself out. Got it? Whew. Ugh, all that effort is taking its toll on me. You are very clever. I wonder why you have hatred for training. Because training is too much like fighting, and I'd really rather not fight. Also, I find training terribly dull. Anyway, good night. He does not use his cleverness. It is a very big waste. I want you to use your power, Linhart. Hooey. Well. All right, it's time to explore. We got Sothis here. No, Solon was it not? And the Flame Emperor. It is most clear that something has transpired, and it relates to you somehow. Or is the fault my own, mm -hmm. and you're just caught inside the wave? Sothis. The goddess of this world. I bear her name. Yeah. Mm, how confusing. This is a long one, jeez. As though my head has turned to mush. 
Didn't expect that much out of her. Um. Let's go to the training grounds. Check up here first. A folding razor. Who the heck prefers a close shave? What the heck? What's this about? The ball. Knights don't participate. It's an event for students. Oh yeah, the ball is this month. Forgot about that one. Oh yeah, we got more points to do now. Hmm, what am I gonna do with all this? Not gonna learn from her. I don't need those. Black magic ornament. Oh yeah, we got we got Ingrid last episode. We're gonna use Hubert in this tournament. Nineteen times two. Well, thank you. Round one. Alright, let's keep on going. Nice one. I really want to get this silver shield for winning. Um. Let's use one of our heals. You get two heals per tournament, I think. So you can, you can take some damage. Hardly worth my time. Alright, semi-final. I think we can win this. Without spitting one of my heals. Alright, we can use our last heal here. This is final! Night. Hardly worth my time. Huge. We got a silver shield. Which is going to be useful. Alright, we're back here with our, apparently now it's a weekly, um, recording mess up, so there's a bunch about the whole episode unwatchable, so I've included the support conversations that you missed, and other than that, uh, we pick the dancer in our class, I think. In this episode, for next episode, episode 19, which is Dorothea. So, hopefully you're not missing anything, but uh, I'm going to be looking into a new recording software, I think. So, hopefully this won't happen in the future, and we'll see you in the next one. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendel? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. You may also know him as Lord Arendel, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took Her Majesty and fled to the Kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Eyre and my father, Lord Arendel rendered Emperor Ionius IX politically impotent. 
Lady Edelgard is Ionius the Ninth's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. The more I learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. Bernadetta. I appreciate all the effort you're making to overcome your fear of me. Your dedication is commendable. However... I'm just getting in your way, aren't I? No, but Bernie, you're just an intruder. Nobody wants you around. Stupid! Oh. Bernadetta. Yes? The problem you keep running into is that you don't listen to what people are really saying. That's why your efforts are in vain. You need to listen instead of jumping to your own conclusions. Are you listening to me? Yes! Then why aren't you responding? Um, I wanted to listen until you were finished. Uh, sorry, were you finished then? I was. Please scream now. By all means. But please try to make it a fairly quiet one. Just a tiny one. <sighs> um, wait. What was I upset about again? That's weird. I forgot why I was about to scream, and now I don't even need to. What a nice feeling. You're trying your best. I know that. But even so... But, but what? What did I do this time? I'm so sorry! Whatever it is! I'll go to my room and never bother you again! Wait! You didn't let me finish! I was only going to say that... 